Greetings, everyone. I'm seriously thinking about planning a retreat, a women's retreat. One where women get away for at least a week. And in that space, you have other powerful women who are not just able to share their gifts of healing and somehow the technique that is needed for a woman to really stand up in this world that can be so cruel. An opportunity to be heard, because sometimes when we share our stories, people hear it, but you're not heard. A place where women are not afraid to express themselves and to know that there's no judgment with sharing their story. As women, we give so much. We're nurturers for the most part. And in sharing or giving the best of ourselves, we lose ourselves in the process. And the turmoil and unresolved conflicts within our mind and our bodies, they stay there and they become ailments. Some individuals do not feel comfortable to really share their truth because they're afraid that they might be judged. If you're someone who feels any of these things in your body or your mind, and you feel like a weekend away would be such a blessing, just say so in the comment section. Because we're always afraid to ask for what we need. We're always afraid to speak our mind or speak our truth from fear of being judged. But we carry so much. And it is is these burdens that we carry as women whether it be physical, mental, emotional, or financial, when we keep it locked in, you know, it creates this ease in the body. So we need to break free and find common ground. Instead of women attacking each other, we need to be more empathetic and sympathetic towards each other because we carry the world literally on our shoulders we're not allowed to be tired because we have to continue to do what we have to do we're not allowed to be sad because it's we're told okay move on forget that we're certainly not allowed to be angry because when you're angry you're not a good person or you're seen as a bad person and a lot of time you see women acting out is because of being hurt. It's because of some of the, the neglect or the abuse they have endured. So we need to be less hard on ourselves. We need to be kinder to ourselves. We need to know it's okay to take a space and hold that space to yourself. It's not selfish. So just say, I need this time. I need to be alone. But we're taught to just give and give. And in the process of giving, we lose ourselves. And that is why something like a retreat, it's so good. I know women who would give anything to be away from their children one day. Be away from their household for one day where they just pamper themselves get their nails done, get a massage, get a facial, you know, have someone teach them how to, you know, do better self-care. This is so natural to some women. It's every week. Some women go for a massage every single week. And some women have never had one done in their entire life. And yet... They are everything to everyone else. 
if you are feeling that way, do not feel guilty. You love your family. You love your children. You love your job. Everything that you are because no woman wears one hat. We embody all these things. And we try to be perfect at doing all of these things. But in holding ourselves accountable and expecting so much from ourselves, we are not allowed to be vulnerable. At least you are not allowing yourself to be vulnerable because maybe the ones around you, you know, see you as strong and you don't want to disappoint them. But when are you going to establish boundaries? When are you going to say, this is for me? Why is it so difficult for a woman to say, I need this for myself. I need this me time. I need to go into a room and close the door. And stay quiet for an hour. That's not asking too much. So as this week approaches. And you go about your different business. Be kinder to yourself. Be gentle to yourself. It's okay. To just sit down for an hour. Have your favorite drink. Read your favorite book. Listen to your favorite music. Just block out that time for yourself and be okay with saying no or no more. Be okay with saying today I'm putting myself first because everyone else is at the end of the day. And understand that you're one person, you're one body within you whole spirit. And it's okay to tap into spirit. It's okay to connect with spirit. It's okay to do something just for you. It's okay to say that prayer where you're not thinking about anyone else but yourself. It's okay to get up at five in the morning and sit quietly without being disturbed. It's okay to say not now or not today or not ever. It is okay. As you think on these things, have a wonderful day and a wonderful, blessed week ahead. Talk to me in the comment section and tell me if I'm alone in this. Stay blessed, everyone.